She must have been working on that right here in her secret lab, and we lost all of her data. Holy Higgs boson! I think I've got an idea. Why don't we do the experiments? And then we can upload that data to my Aunt Tess. What do you think of that? We could do that, sure. Yeah, okay, let's try this. Um, most of us, maybe, I'm not sure, you might be visiting from out of town, but most of us probably live right here in the province of Ontario. So let me ask you this. In Ontario, from what source of energy do we get most of our electricity from? What source of energy? And you can just shout it out, it's hard to hear. What was that? Nuclear energy, yes, very good, it is nuclear energy. In fact, about 60% of the electricity we use is from, from nuclear energy. In fact, um, I thought I yeah, here it is. This little pellet of uranium, <laughs> um, you need about eight of these little pellets, and this will power your home for an entire year. That's, that's pretty good. Um, can we do any nuclear work down here? Maybe not, let me just put that aside, maybe later. Um, but before my aunt signed off, she said something about fossil fuels. Um, can you give me an example of a fossil fuel? Coal, yeah. Anything else? Coal, oil, and of course, natural gas. Yeah, these are things that come from the ground, that come from the earth, we call them fossil fuels. Um, so I wanna get started, I wanna do an experiment right now. What, uh, are there any, any fossil fuels around here that I could use? Uh, I see something in the dark there, I'm not really sure what that is. Sign, what does that sign say back here? Oh, now I can see it, oh boy. Uh, uh, you know what, hey, hey, hang on a second, I'll be right back. Oh. There's a cat back there. Um, look what I found! I found a tank of gas. Now, of course, I have to read the label, because who knows what this is. Can't assume it's, you know, one thing or another. Um, oh, methane. Methane, have you ever heard of methane before? Yeah, um, if you haven't, that's okay. The uh, main component in natural gas is methane. So usually they're used interchangeably. Me methane, natural gas, and, oh yeah, the soapy solution. Have you ever blown bubbles? When you blow bubbles, what's in the bubbles? No, in the bubbles. Air, okay, what makes up the air? Oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. Those are the main gases, those are the main, those three. So you blow bubbles, they, they fly around, they burst, no big deal, right? But what if we blew up bubbles using nothing but methane? Oh. Well, I have uh, my aunt's safety goggles. I can, I guess I can put these on. Have you guys got your goggles, safety goggles with you? No? Oh well. Uh, science must move on. It must march on. Okay, let's, uh, let's collect data for my aunt Tess. Let, let's do that. Let's get this out here. And, oh, what is that? Oh, that's convenient. Okay. So let's get this in here. And let's turn this on. And... Okay, I don't know if you can hear that or not. So we're pumping methane gas into the soapy solution. Okay, so methane, natural gas, oil, coal, these are uh, fossil fuels. So they come from the ground, they come from the earth, and how do they get there? Well, we have to wait millions of years for animals, plants to die and decompose, and over, over all that time, it turns into these fossil fuels. Um, and, um, oh, look at that. What is, what is that there? So when you put atoms together, you make up a molecule. Yeah, that's a molecule. What's the C stand for in the center there? Carbon. Carbon. What are the H's? What do they stand for? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. So we have C and then we have four H's. So CH4. That's the chemical uh, symbol for methane. Yeah, this, this here. Yeah, there we go. That's methane right there. Uh, anybody know who uh, discovered methane? It's a tougher question. Um, 
Back in the 1700s, um, there was this guy, his name was Alessandro Volta, and he was on vacation, he was in Italy uh, by the lake, and he saw these, uh, this, this gas coming up from the lake. Um, sometimes we call that swamp gas, or anyway, this gas bubbling up from the lake. So he was curious to know what this you know, naturally occurring gas was. And it turned out, through investigation, that it was this molecule here, which was then called methane. Um, now, Alessandro Volta, the last name Volta, what does that remind you of? Volts, voltage, okay. It's interesting where words and how language develops. So, volts and voltage, why would we name that after Volta? He must have um, invented something pretty big. What did he invent? Most of you, maybe right now, probably have this on you. The battery. Yeah, he invented the battery. So not the battery you personally have, but uh, he came up with the first idea of, uh, of a battery. So that was pretty big. And um, I think we're almost done here. We have quite a bit of methane bubbles in here. All right, so I'm just gonna close this. And here we go. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna put this away here. And uh, I don't want to do anything to my aunt's basement, so here we go. All right. And here it goes. All right, so I have a sink full of methane. So what I'd like to do now is something called a, a combustion reaction. So for combustion to occur, we need three things. We need a fuel, that's the methane. What two other things do we need? Oxygen and and heat. Yeah, source of heat. So let's see. Um, here we go. There's a flame. I could use that. Um, except I don't have a plate or something I could use. I um, guess I'm just going to have to use my hand. Uh, well, I've got water here. I'll just coat my hand in water. Because uh, fire and water don't, uh, don't mix. So... Uh, Give this a try. So let me take as much methane bubbles as I can, like that. Put it onto my hand. Think I can use a few more bubbles, maybe. There we go. All right. There's a handful of bubbles. Okay. So that's the fuel. Um, the oxygen. Well, um, about 20% of the air around us is oxygen, so I think we have enough of that, and a source of heat. Should I go ahead and do this? Okay, thank you. There's always that one person who says no, thank you. <laughs> but, like I said, science marches on. Here we go. Don't blink. Three, two, one. Okay, I felt a bit of the heat. Uh, but it's gone. It's all uh, combusted. The water protected my hand. So, that was good. So what happened? We, we converted the energy from the methane into what? Into heat and it was dark and then it became light around the fire. So yeah, so we converted it to heat and light, two other uh, forms of energy. Wow, that was pretty good.